I'm here at Gladstone Pottery Museum at the heart of the once thriving Stoke on Trent Potteries. The bottle ovens used to make pottery were once seen all over Stoke on Trent. It is now a rarity, but they have been preserved here for their visitors. Although mainstream production has now ceased, workers here are producing pottery on a small scale for their visitors to see and buy. Rita and Carol have been in the china clay business since young teenagers, undertaking apprenticeships. They now work here making and painting china flowers amongst other things. It is that which I have come to see today. Okay, I'm just making a rose. This is bone china clay that's used for flower making. I'm placing the middle petals around the centre so that forms the rose bud and it will dry and after about three or four days be fired in the kiln. The fire is pure white. That's the bone in the clay that gives it its whiteness and also its strength. So by the time I was 17 I could make the whole range of flowers. We paint the unglazed ware with special powder colours that come to us in a powdered form. So you block it in with a bit of yellow first and then shade over the top. Shading is just rubbing a little bit of colour brush into the colour so that you just get a little bit of colour on one side of the brush. When we've decorated all this ware, um, we also fire it ourselves as well in a box kiln, fire it at a temperature of 800 centigrade. Design all our own work here, so um, if I like the colours I'll carry on and if I don't I'll try different colours, different designs. I'm Charlotte Tonley reporting for Staff Live.